I've been playing in this survival world for about a year now, and over the course of the year uploading videos, I've been asked quite a few times to do a few tutorials here and there, so what I'm going to be doing is picking a few of my favourite builds and sort of going through and doing a tutorial. Now, we're not going to be doing your standard block by block tutorial, but what I am going to be doing is showing you how to convert some of these builds into more vanilla textures and just give you a basic layout of them. So, I am going to be starting off with this awesome bridge design that we've got. One of the most important things to do when making a bridge is initially work out exactly how far the gap is that you're trying to bridge. So that that's the same thing if you're using a straight bridge or a curved bridge like this. So we need to work out how long it is, decide how we're going to make the bridge, and then sort of go from there. So I discovered the length of this bridge and then basically just created a sort of partial circular shape just to get a bit of a bow to it. And then everything else sort of falls in place from there. So as you can see, this is using my own textures and I, I do know that having your own textures can really make builds look quite different. So we need to work out a way that we can get this into more vanilla textures so that if you want to build it you can. So let's jump into a void world. So here we are in a void world, I've copied the build over and I've broken it down into its separate parts so you can sort of like see how it's all put together completely uh, in a bit of an easier way. But yeah so we've got the general curve and I think with Minecraft one thing that you really have to consider when you're building things is for me anyway, the cardinal rule that odd numbers work a lot better than even numbers. So if we had an even number, then we'd have to double up on these pillars and everything would become really clunky and just not look great. So we're sticking with a odd number here. So the actual length of the walkway here is five blocks wide. And that gives us two blocks on either side to walk along and a position for our central pillar which looks great uh, and it works really well and then it helps us with all of the space in here now I have done spacings by even numbers along here but we've still got our odd number along the central bit there so how are we gonna convert this into something that looks a bit more vanilla now it's not going to be too difficult on this build just because I think I'd only just really started my textures so let's take the resource pack off and as you can see it's already looking very very different so most of this is still fine it's still completely usable the acacia woods got a little bit of a less red theme to it which is fine it still sort of works I don't really see any issue with that where I see the actual issues on this build is in the trapdoors so if we come around this side I thought uh, yeah we'll look at this one here so we've got the acacia trapdoors going along here now that just blends in a bit too much and it just really doesn't look that great anymore whereas with the texture pack on it created quite a nice little pattern and these jungle trapdoors don't look too hot either they're pretty much completely out of place so there's not really too much that we're going to have to change. The central pillars, they still look fine. So we've got this little crisscross pattern going on. So we've got fence, block, fence, and it just zigzags all the way up the top. In the middle, you've got a full row of the acacia, or column even. You've got a full column of the acacia blocks. It's going all the way down, and then it's just a pattern. You just literally block always goes on top of a fence and a fence always goes on top of a block and you can just carry this on for as far down as you need it to go to make sense so obviously you don't want your bridge floating you want it to be nice and supported but yeah you literally just carry this on until you're at the bottom so this would be starting from underneath directly underneath there which we can see on this one here so yeah let's just have a look see if there's anything that we can do so 
we still want to have a bit of a fencing bit here just to sort of make it look a bit more secure for people walking through because if we have it like this as you're coming through it'd be really easy for someone to you know let's think about children it'd be really easy for a child to just run off the edge there and you know fall to their death into the void which is not what we want so if we get rid of all of these jungle trap doors we could replace it with fences now we could just do it with acacia fences and you know that looks fine um but I don't think that's ideal. We want a little bit of colour variation. So we're already using dark oak for the roofing. So why don't we consider using dark oak fences? Because that will add us a little bit of a colour variation. And actually I think does look a hell of a lot better than both the jungle trapdoors and better than the acacia fencing. So we'll replace all of this along here with the dark oak fences and that should look great so yeah that that's fixed the one of the first problems straight away um we're going to do the same thing on the other side so again we're just going to replace it all with dark oak now depending on how you want to build these things like you know if your roof was say made out of spruce instead of dark oak then it would probably be best to use spruce fences to sort of build this up and that would make that look a lot better but yeah there we go so that is looking a lot better fits in with our roof and pretty much solves the problem that we had so what's our next problem is these jungle trapdoors down here now so we need to remove them and this could really be just as simple as taking these away and it might wind up looking a lot better than it initially did. So I feel like it, it looks like there's something missing from it. So let's try adding some dark oak fence gates. So the handy thing about fence gates is we can open them and we can get some pretty cool patterns coming out of these. So this almost creates the effect that we had initially but with fence gates instead so although it doesn't connect from top to bottom it still creates that sort of fenced effect that we had going on with my version of the jungle trap doors and if we just zoom out in a sec we should see that you know it's added a little bit more to the build and it does look a little bit better the only thing that we're really not going to be able to fix on this is adding the acacia trapdoors along here because it just doesn't work so if we grab them get the acacia trapdoors see it just sort of blends in a bit too much and this little latch bit I just think really almost ruins the build a little bit and um, it just doesn't really blend in so well so yeah we could easily just take these away and leave it as it is and we're still going to have the same effect of the bridge that we got with the resource pack on. So yeah, I think I think that is basically how we fix this one. So the roof design for this is actually fairly complicated, but at the same time it's not. You're essentially still just following the same curve that we had originally. We're just doing it with slabs instead, so it actually gives us a little bit of a more rounded shape than we would otherwise have i don't know how well you can see that actually because the light is lighting is a bit weird in void worlds but basically we're just stepping up we're going two step up one two step up one two step up one and then we've got the long flat section and then it's two step down one two step down one two step down one two and then we're just carrying stairs up just to add a little bit of shape to the rest of it so what you'll find with a lot of sort of japanese style builds is you know they'll, they'll actually wind up coming out quite pointed in places so using the stairs here it sort of creates like a strap on the roof to sort of reinforce it structurally and it adds that little point shape and with the rest of the slabs we're just again just following the same exact patterns 
just to create a nice gentle curve which I think comes out looking really really good uh, and it's really really good for this build so yeah as I say it, it was never going to be a block by block tutorial but this world will be available for download and you can copy it to your heart's content if you want or you can just take away some of the things we talked about here so you know the key points work out the length of your gap for your bridge decide whether you want it to be flat or curved and yeah then everything else sort of follows from there once you get a decent looking curve you're kind of laughing you could look up a circle but if you look up a circle what i wouldn't recommend doing is building from halfway through the shape of the circle so let's just take a basic circle real shit uh real quick and we'll just have a quick look at why we wouldn't really follow just a basic curve or from the halfway point because you can already see that it is gonna look weird so yeah we've got a full circle here and if we were to be building a bridge say our bridge was like five blocks long the way that i would go about taking from a circle shape now there's loads of circle guides on the internet um you know just type in pixel circle and you'll find a guide somewhere so let's say our bridge was like five blocks long so i'd take it from this central point i'll go one two one two and that gives us our five say it was seven we could go from there add the extra two on the side there but then if you sort of look at the shape that we get from doing that it looks a little bit too steep and that's not going to come out too good so just simply just move that block up a little bit and that'll give you a decent curve for the bridge itself and just remember the central section is going to be a bit longer than all of the rest of it so yeah a bit of a different way of doing a tutorial you have to let me know if it's any good or not but yeah, I hope you've at least taken something away from this. And yeah, as I say, there will be a world download in the description. You can download it, rebuild it, rebuild it. Let people know where you got it from. Just, you know, drop my YouTube channel in the description. Or, you know, if, if you're just building it in your friend's world, uh, let them know where you got it from, basically. It is a really, really cool design. I do love these Japanese style builds. And I'll see you soon.